Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a mattress online, you've probably heard of the Casper mattresses, but right now they have four major models. The Casper Element, the original Casper mattress, the Casper Nova Hybrid, and the Casper Wave Hybrid. But which one is right for you? Well, I wanna talk about that today. I'm gonna to talk about their construction, my experience with each mattress, and help you find the right one for you. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, and pillows, and some great discounts as well. Also stick around to the end of the video, I'll be answering some frequently asked questions about the Casper mattresses. I also want to say that when I'm talking about the original Casper mattress today, I am talking about the all foam version, not the Casper hybrid version. That being said, let's talk about the similarities between these mattresses. First off, they all come from Casper, obviously. But that means they all have good sleep trials and good warranties as well, great customer service. They also all feature a soft polyfoam right on top that is also quite responsive. They all feature Airscape technology to help with breathability. And last but not least, except for the Casper Element, they all have a zone support in their construction. And now let's talk about the differences between all these mattresses. First off, there are going to be some price differences. Starting with the Element, their most affordable, up to the Casper Wave Hyper, which is going to be their most pricey mattress. There are also going to be some construction differences, namely with the Casper Wave Hybrid and the Casper Nova Hybrid, you're going to have coils in the construction. With the Element and the original Casper, no coils in their construction. There are also going to be some materials differences. For instance, with the Casper Wave Hybrid, you're gonna have latex in its construction, and you're not gonna find that in any of the other mattresses. Now, while three of these mattresses do have a zone support system, there are gonna be different types of zone support. So you have zone support in the Casper Original, then you're gonna have a zone support Pro in the Casper Nova Hybrid, and then you're gonna have a zone support Max in the Casper Wave Hybrid. So more advanced zoning the further up you go with this line of mattresses. Then in terms of feel, you're gonna have some slight differences. They're all gonna have kind of that balanced foam feel on top, but with the Casper Wave Hybrid, it's gonna be a little bit more responsive, a little bouncier as well. And then last but not least, speaking of firmness, there are going to be some firmness differences as well. So in our experience, the Casper Element is the firmest. Going up the line to the Casper Wave Hybrid, that is going to be the softest mattress in this line. So now let's take a look at the construction of all four mattresses, starting on top and then working our way down. First off, they all have a very similar cover. It's soft, breathable, and won't affect the overall feel of the mattress too much. Moving down to the comfort layer, starting with the Casper Element, on top a layer of responsive polyfoam with Airscape technology in it. Basically, it's ventilated for airflow. Over on the original Casper mattress, on top a similar layer of very responsive foam, Airscape technology as well. Below that, you're gonna have your layer of zone support. So it's a layer of foam that is firmer towards the center, softer towards the top and the bottom of the mattress. That basically means if you're lying on your back or stomach, it'll feel firmer to you. When you're on your side, it'll feel softer and more pressure relieving. Now moving over to the Casper Nova Hybrid. On top, very similar polyfoam, very responsive, very bouncy as well. Also gonna have some Airscape technology for breathability. Now below that, you're gonna have a zone support system as well. Similar, it's gonna be firmer towards the center, softer towards the top and the bottom of the mattress. Now below that, you're gonna have another layer of memory foam. It's going to be convoluted, so it's gonna help with the zoning, basically enhance the zoning you find in this mattress. So again, it's gonna feel more firm and supportive when you're back and stomach sleeping, more pressure leaving when you're side sleeping. Now finally, moving over to the Casper Wave Hybrid. On top, you're gonna have another layer of that polyfoam, again, responsive, Airscape technology for breathability as well. Below that, you're gonna have a layer of latex foam, very durable, very bouncy as well. Below that, you're gonna have a layer of that kind of zone support system. So towards the center, firmer, gonna be softer towards the head and the foot of the mattress. Below that, you're gonna have your zone support max system. So this is a layer of polyfoam, but it's a more advanced kind of zoning. So towards the center of the mattress, you're gonna actually have some gel pods in there, making it firmer under the hips and the butt. Finally, moving down to the support layers, on the Casper Element and the original Casper mattress, you're going to find a base polyfoam. Now with the Casper Nova Hybrid, Casper Wave Hybrid, you're going to find coils in the support layer. 
So what does all that mean? Well, first off, as you go up this line of matrices from the element to the original Casper to the Casper Nova hybrid up to the Casper Wave hybrid, you're basically getting a nicer, more substantial mattress. So that's why they cost more. You're also getting more durable materials. So up to the Casper Wave hybrid, you have latex in there. So it is going to last longer than these other three mattresses. Speaking of cooling, the Casper Wave Hybrid is also going to be the coolest sleeping mattress, I think, out of these four. Much more room for airflow, a much more breathable mattress. And then finally, speaking of support, Casper Wave Hybrid is going to win out. Much more supportive layers, much more durable layers, so a better match for larger people as well. And now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I put the Casper Element at an eight out of 10, definitely firmer than average. The original Casper at a seven out of 10, just firmer than average. And then also with the Casper Nova Hybrid and the Casper Wave Hybrid, a six and a half out of 10. I will note though, I'm a larger person. I'm 250 pounds. I press pretty far into all these mattresses. If you're lighter than me, you might find them all to be softer than I did. On the other hand, if you're larger than me, you might find them to be a bit firmer than I did. Also with the zoning in three of these mattresses, the original Casper, the Nova Hybrid, and the Wave Hybrid, the zoning is gonna make it feel a little bit different depending on your sleeping position. So again, firmer, more supportive when you're back in stomach sleeping, more pressure leaving softer when you're on your side. Now, speaking of feel, they all have a pretty similar feel, kind of responsive balanced foam feel on top. That being said, with the Wave Hybrid, it actually has latex in its construction, making it a little bit bouncier than these other three mattresses. Now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on these four mattresses. Starting off on the Casper Element on my back, not a bad match, an okay balance of comfort and support. That being said, I'm a larger person, I probably want something with coils in the construction. Moving to my side, way too firm for me as a side sleeper, feeling some serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Moving to my stomach, a decent match for stomach sleeping, it is a firmer than average mattress. Moving over to the original Casper mattress on my back, a very good match for me. A great balance of comfort and support and extra support from the zone support in the second layer. Moving to my side, an okay match for side saving, but I am feeling a little bit of pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Again, if you're lighter than me, you're probably gonna feel better pressure relief than I did. Moving to my stomach, not a bad match for stomach sleeping. My hips are bowing in just a little bit, but not too far. Then moving over to the Nova Hybrid mattress on my back, also a very good match for back sleeping, great balance of comfort and support, more advanced zoning, so more lumbar support when I'm back sleeping. Moving to my side, pretty good for side sleeping, not too much pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Moving to my stomach, though it is too soft for me, I am bowing at the hips somewhat. Then last but not least, moving over to the Wave Hybrid mattress on my back, also very, very good for back sleeping, even more advanced zoning, so more lumbar support, more nuanced lumbar support, so very good for back sleeping. Moving to my side, I feel great side sleeping on this mattress, especially out of these four, so not too much pressure on my shoulders and my hips, good for side sleeping. Moving to my stomach, however, it is too soft for me. Again, I am bowing in at the hips. Here at Matt Clear, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach and you see anywhere from blue for no pressure all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pulling up the side sleeping results for all these mattresses, you're gonna see some differing levels of pressure relief. So the Casper Element, the Casper Original, the Casper Nova Hybrid, and the Casper Wave Hybrid. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you wanna think about. That's motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you gonna feel that motion or not? Edge support means if you're sitting down at the edge of a mattress, if you're lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more like you're gonna roll off and onto the floor? Now, speaking of motion transfer, the Element, the Casper Original, and the Casper Nova Hybrid are all pretty good at handling motion transfer. The Wave Hybrid, however, is a little bit too bound to with that latex on the top layer, so not the best match for couples in that respect. So speaking of edge support, I would give the advantage to the Casper Nova Hybrid and the Casper Wave Hybrid. With coils in their construction, I feel much more secure when I'm sitting down and lying down on both these mattresses. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Casper Element, it's a good match for those who wanna save as much money as possible. It's the most affordable mattress on this list. If you wanna save some money on your mattress purchase, take a look at the Casper Element. It's also a good match for lightweight adults, children, and teenagers who don't need quite so much support. In terms of who should get the Casper Original, it's a good match for lightweight and medium weight combination sleepers, good for all three sleeping positions. Also, back sleepers who don't need quite as much support, there is some good support back sleeping on this mattress, but you're going to get better support moving up the line of mattresses. 
In terms of who should get the Nova Hybrid, it's a better match for light and medium weight back sleepers who need extra lumbar support. In more advanced zoning than what you find in the Casper Original, it better match for back sleepers of that size. Also light and medium weight side sleepers should get all the pressure relief they need on the Nova Hybrid. Now in terms of who should get the Casper Wave Hybrid, this is the best match I believe for larger people. It's the most substantial mattress, the most durable mattress, a better match for those larger people. And last but not least, those who are looking for a more luxury mattress, a more high-end mattress, should take a look at the Casper Wave Hybrid. Has some very nice materials, some very durable materials, should be a good long-lasting mattress. Now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the Casper mattresses. The first question is, which Casper mattress is best? Now, the nicest, highest end mattress out of their line is the Casper Wave Hybrid, but it really comes down to what you're looking for. If you want something more affordable for lightweight sleepers, the Casper Element. If you want something that's gonna be a good match for back sleeping, but you don't need quite so much back support, the Casper. If you want something a little bit nicer, the Nova Hybrid. If you want something super high end, take a look at the Wave Hybrid. The second question is, how much do the Casper mattresses cost? Well, starting with the Element for a queen size, it's going to be around $600. For the original, it's going to be around $1,100. For the Nova Hybrid, it's going to be around $2,000. And for the Wave Hybrid, around $2,600. The third question is, which Casper mattress is best for hot sleepers? I would say the Nova Hybrid and the Wave Hybrid. That's mostly because they have coils in their construction, a lot more room for airflow. And the last question is, are Casper mattresses good? And they definitely are good. There's a reason they are some of the most popular bed in a box mattresses on the market. High quality materials, very supportive and very comfortable as well. At this point, you should know which of the Casper mattresses is right for you. But if you're still a bit confused, you want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. That's about it. Just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.